Hey guys, this is George. I'm the owner of MGW. I got a little package here from my buddy Aaron Bickle over at Clear Shine. I'm going to pop it open. We're going to use it on one of our uh, project vehicles and see how this stuff works. I've heard a lot of rave reviews about it and I told him I wanted to check it out. We've never used this uh, nanotype uh, wash before. I may be a little skeptical about it, but he said I'm going to be a believer when I'm done. So let's check this thing out. Nice packaging, priority mail. Good deal, Aaron. All right, let's see what we've got here. Okay, got a little, what do we have here? To Chris Arnold. Oops, I think I might have gotten the wrong box here. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. Um, Chris, thank you for keeping your name. Huh? Big cold box. You put the it in O. Okay, okay, um, don't worry about that. Let's see what we got in the packages here. It's well packaged here. Um, I'm not sure what to make of this. I guess that's if you get hungry when you're waxing your car. Okay, let's see. All right, we've got spray bottle nozzle. Got some nice rags here. Look at this, very well packaged. It's like a good quality towel here. And here is the stuff everybody's talking about, the Nano Wash. Wow, that's good stuff. Let's get this stuff cut open and see what we got here. Nice packaging. All right, waterless wash and protect, detail. All right, looks like good stuff. Nice, nice logo, Aaron. All right, but let's see if it works for the crap. Let's go out and try it on our car. Okay, we're going to get started on the back side because it's really clear with all the uh, dirt and dust all over this thing, how dirty this is. Let's get in real close here. You can really see this car is absolutely filthy and it is pretty caked on there. Uh, we've had this car to the track at least three times and never washed it. So this should be a challenge, Aaron. We'll see how we go here. So the first thing he said to do was to get this thing Spray it down good, let it react with it. So we'll do that. Okay, and then go ahead and get a little bit on the rag. And he said just a little bit of time and it should work its way in. You can already see that it's, wow, it's pulling off pretty well. Let's see what it does, and I guess on this one we'll go side to side because it's vertical. Really, the hood should be front to back, but man, that stuff's working well. Oh, yeah. Just want to make sure it's not scratching the surface at all. Nope. Feels good. Turn the towel over a little bit. Spoiler. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Jeez, even the car looked white, but down here, it's obvious the car is very yellow from the dirt, and it has cleaned it off pretty well there. Spray a little bit on there more. Look at the last few bits out of there. Good, and I think we got a few little rock chips in the car from the track. Yep, those aren't coming out, those are rock chips. But everywhere the dirt is, this shit is pretty legit, Aaron. It looks really good. Wow, that's a huge difference. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this whole back with this and we'll see how it looks.
One of the other things that I was actually kind of surprised to hear from Aaron was that you do not have to avoid the rubber molding. Every time I wax one of these cars, especially the project cars that we're doing them kind of quick, down and dirty, not really spending a lot of time, as we get wax residue all over here, drives it out, looks like crap. He said you can actually use this stuff to preserve it and go right over it. So we're going to try that too. And I want to let that dry and just make sure it doesn't leave any residue. Not that I'm doubting you, Aaron. I just want to check for myself. Looks good when it's wet, that's for sure. We'll come back to that, that dry for about five minutes and just make sure it doesn't have any white residue on it. Yeah. All right, we've let this sit actually about 10 minutes here and it's still very smooth to the touch and there's no crusty white stuff on it. So this stuff is working very well. One of my biggest complaints about waxes and spray detailers, especially those little spray bottles, is that they always leave some type of white, crusty crap all over the weather stripping and everywhere that it's like a matte plastic finish. And that looks great. This stuff really works well. And as lazy as I am with these track cars, this is going to be a godsend for us. Very good job. Very good product. So uh, make sure you guys check them out. Again, it's called Clear Shine Products. This is called Nano Wash. And it's in a clear bottle, pink liquid like this, and I'll show veteran owned, made in the USA, can't forget that, and I'll show all the contact stuff. But uh, we're a believer, we'll start using this product exclusively here at MGW Shifter, so good to go.